OK, in this problem, what we're given is that we're told the sixth term, that's 41, and we're told the first 20 terms all add up to 1,810. And we need to find A and D. So this is very similar to the previous problem where we looked at where we were given uh, the fifth term and the eleventh term, for example. So we need to find two equations uh, in A and D that will allow us to then solve them simultaneously. Now the first one we should be able to do knowing that information from the previous video, from one of the previous videos. So the sixth term is 41, so we're going to use that top formula. So that can tell us that the sixth term, 41, is a plus n minus 1d. Well, 6 minus 1 is 5. So 41 is a plus 5d, and that comes from that sentence there, that first bit of information. The second bit of information says that the sum of the first 20 terms is 1,810. So, because we want A and D, I'm going to be using this formula rather than that one. So, 1,810, sorry, the first 20 terms is equal to 1 half times 20, because N is 20, because I'm looking for the first 20 terms, times 2A plus N minus 1D. Well, n is 20, so that's 19d. So that's my second equation. So I'm going to simplify that second one a little bit by, well, 1 half times 20 is 10, so divide both by 10, both sides by 10, and I get this. So this is my equation 1, and that's my equation 2. So to work with that, I'm going to have to choose to eliminate either the a's or the d's. So I'm going to eliminate the A's. That's going to be easier. If I do t equation 2, take away two lots of equation 1, that will eliminate the A's. So I've got 181, take away two lots of 41. 181, take away... Oh, I could do it, right? 181, take away two lots of 41 is 99. 2A, take away two lots of t A is 0. 19d, take away two lots of 5d, is 9d. So 99 is 9d. So d must be 11. Now that I've got d, I can substitute that into one of the two original equations. The first one will probably be the easiest. So sub into 1. So 41 is a plus 5 lots of d, so 5 lots of 11 is 55. So 41 take away 55 means that a must be minus 14. And that's found a and d, as required. So it's a very, very similar problem to before, it's just we're using another formula at this stage instead. But still turning into two simultaneous equations in a and d in order to work those out.